Welcome back to Australia. I hope you guys all had an amazing 4th of July. I had a lot of fun out swimming in Texas. We went out to this really big lake and um, basically we were playing football, throwing it around a little bit, uh, having some barbecues and just really enjoying the nice weather. It was so perfect. Hopefully you guys had a good 4th of July as well and let's get back into what we're going to be doing for today. Ooh, that's a pretty cool feral goat out there. This thing actually may be like a red brown or kind of like a dark tan color. It's a sweet looking feral goat and we definitely want to try and take a shot on him. So let's bust out the 22 250 here and go for about a 220 yard shot. That was a heart shot. Perfect, perfect shot. Beautiful. All right, let's go get him. Boy, it's been a while since we've been able to pull off a perfect drop shot like that with the 22250 because honestly, at that distance, anything could happen where you're just not quite gonna get the penetration. All right, here we go. This is a feral goat that we got and we did pull off a double lung hard shot, 179 gold and it was actually a brown color, but because it's a pretty big one and it is brown, I really wanted to get it. This is a sweet looking feral goat here and I'm really glad to have him down. It's our biggest one so far. That actually was in this color. So today I kind of want to hunt the bottom right side of this map here. Basically the east coast of Saltfinger Shore. We're going to be working our way around the bottom edge here. Checking out these little lakes down around here. Maybe up in this mountain. And then probably coming out somewhere around this Tama coast here. For some big bantang. Holy that is a lot of red deer. Look at them all out there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's 15 different red deer out there. And 3 stags. As usual... Nothing is very impressive out there, but there's definitely a couple stags and there's a six there another six there Another six there. So they're literally all sixes Well, I want mine taken down this one for sure All right, he's going down really quick, actually. So that worked out pretty good. All right, let's pick up our six red deer that we got laying right here. And we did, in fact, get a double lung shot at 270 yards. Got an access deer over there. I can't tell if it's decent or not. Nah, it's, it's not tiny, but it's definitely not that special. Uh, it's like medium. Well, we should go for a shot, I suppose. Hold up. Got something over there. I believe that's either a fox or... Ooh, it's a quail. That's what it is. All right, a couple of quail over there. I'd love to try and get some of those, but we don't have anything to really take them down with at this point. Oh, there's the axis deer. I almost lost sight of him, but there he is right there. Uh, might have got him a little bit high, but then again... Yeah, definitely got him a little bit. Uh, I, and then we just absolutely smoked him. <laughs> well, whatever it was, it was pretty awesome because he did not even flinch after that. Got him in the neck. 335 yards in the neck. That's a lot of Bantang we just found bedded out here right out in the thicket. And there's, I believe, four bulls out here. We got a couple decent threes right there and right there. And then there's a... A good four. I think that's him bedded there. Maybe there's even two. No, that's a three. But well, that's for surely a four out in the front. Maybe even bigger. Then we got another good four here as well. So we're going to try and figure out which ones we're going to go for first. And then apparently there's actually a fox in there as well laying there. Oh, there he is. I see him now. Um, but I can't tell what that one is there. All right. Well, here we go. We got the 338 Magnum bolt action rifle. And that should do the job. Ooh, 
Looked good. Looked real good, actually. What do we got running through here now? Reload, 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 reload. I lost. Oh, there they are. So that should take him down. Nice shot there. Holy. These are all female here, so I'm not really super worried about them, but at the same time, we might as well try and get a few of these down. Our zone is definitely gone at this point. So at this point, there's no, no point in trying to not unload this thing. Got one more left here. That'll take him down as well. You know, sometimes I get a little bit too carried away here with this 338 Magnum bolt action rifle because it's just such a beast that I don't know I can't stop next thing you know the whole entire zone is gone and that's it you got nothing left still got a gold out of that 114 gold and that was a three yeah we did quite well here took down a lot of Bantang got him in the intestine that is not our four that's actually a three so then this must be our four I don't know if it is. No, it's not our four either. Well, it's not a very big one, but it is in fact our first croc. And he's out there at about 85 yards out. Now we're gonna go for a shot. He's quartering pretty much directly away from us. So basically we just gotta hold right dead center and kind of just above that grass to where we don't quite hit the grass and we should be able to make a good shot. So here we go. We're going for a 100 yard shot. That's a hit. Oh my God, what? What the heck did we just hit, you guys? <sighs> I mean, he's laying right there. Like, he didn't go five yards and piled over. We well, basically dropped him. All right, so take a look at this. Right there is our arrow. Quartering away, going right up in there. I mean, honestly, this totally reminds me of like bow hunting for, or I should say bow fishing for gator gar. That's exactly what this reminds me of. Like there is nothing up in there that we would have hit to drop it except for the heart. There's absolutely nothing we could have hit. But I'm kind of mind blown at the fact that we did in fact pull off a heart shot. So I got to see it to believe it, I guess. Let's pick it up. All right, well, now we know. That shot was actually a 99 yard spine vertebrae shot. In fact, we were just barely above the lung, which overall is still a pretty epic shot. It's weird because I did see the arrow down below, but you know what? Since it wasn't a giant and it's our first crocodile down with a bow, 100 yards to drop a crocodile, that's pretty freaking cool. Holy, we just came across a massive mythical crocodile. He's right out there about 80 yards out from us. We're gonna try and sneak forward a little bit and try and climb up on top of this root here, this tree root, if that's possible. We may be able to get within 80 yards out from this massive croc. We got the 420 grain arrows into the compound bow. We zeroed in for 40 and we could take up to an 80 yard shot if we need to, but hopefully we can get to somewhere around 60. All right, all we gotta do is get to the top of this tree right here while being undetected. Come on, climb, 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 climb. There we go, there we go, there we go. Where is he, where is he, where is he? Oh my God, oh my God, there. That's not him. Where is he then? Oh. Dude, what's this croc doing? Wow, look at that thing. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, there goes the mythical. Let's watch the mythical. We might not be able to take a shot at this one. We're gonna have to take the mythical. There's the mythical. 75 yards out. We're drawing back. Oh my god, the follow-up shot looked almost like a heart shot, but we actually got him a little bit too low, and I don't think that's even going to take him down. We tried to take him on the trot. I was hoping the wind was going to push our arrow. It didn't push it at all.
Got him. Got him again. Oh, now that was a sweet headshot. Right in the neck. All right, where did that croc go? Oh, dude, it's right here. Look it. Huh. It's literally laying right here. Our first shot got him back in the stomach. Oh. If we let him a little bit more, that shot would have been beautiful. I was holding right here. And we ended up, actually, I was holding here, trying to compensate for the wind. And we should have hit here, but... Realistically, if I would have held for right here, we would have hit right there and would have been an epic shot. Follow-up shot. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Look at how close that follow-up shot was to being a perfect double lung heart shot. Right below the heart. You're talking one inch below the heart. Wow, that was so close. But a sweet looking massive crocodile though. Look at that thing. Wow. All right, here we go. We got another nice seven out here. This one is about 100 yards out from us here. Now, I do believe we can make this shot. I believe it. And we're gonna make it happen. That's a hit, oh my God, it looked perfect. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Definitely centered him, but that should for surely be liver. Yes, it was, you guys. We just pulled off an epic 100 yard shot on a massive level seven croc with the bow. And he's gonna pile up right there. Watch him. Watch him. So he just went down right over there. And there he is floating up to the top right over there. What an epic shot. What an awesome moment that was right there. To be able to take down a croc and our farthest croc ever with the bow. It was just something that we will never forget. Never, never forget. Oh, got her as she turned to run away. And almost got a follow up into her as well. There she goes. Got her again. I don't know where we hit her that time, but. Oh, there's another one taken off. That's a small one, though. And smoke the tree. Now, this seven was pretty massive. So let's find out how we did. And there he lays right there. I can't exactly see where the shot hit, but what was that? I don't know, but let's pick him up. Whoa, what is happening? Oh, get out of the water, get out of the water. What the heck is happening? Is there a crocodile ghost out here or something or what? All right, as I was saying, it's going to be a gold 856 gold and he weighed 1,900 pounds. But that shot was a 103 yard perfect right lung shot with the hawk edge bow. That is what I'm talking about right there. Look at that angle. He was quartering away just like that and we centered him perfectly. What a heck of an awesome moment that was right there and a sweet massive croc down with the bow. Oh god! Oh god! Oh! Oh my god! This thing just came out of the water! It literally just came out of the water! We climbed up to the top of the tree here. <sighs> well, if I would have known you were gonna do that. Oh! Get out of the tree! Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, that's a hit! That's a hit! Oh my god, that was a pretty good hit, I think. I think that was a pretty good hit. Looked to be about 60 yards out, and I held for. Yeah, roughly 60. Might have got him a little bit high, but overall, holy, that was a rush. Oh my god. Is this what was eating us when we were under the water? Oh my god, I think it is. So this is actually the female that we got on the run. 40 yards out from before as she spun around there. Pretty cool shot. 
But I, I'm pretty sure she was actually attacking us as we were picking up the other one. Because we were losing health rapidly. And the only thing that was in the water were other crocodiles. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this thing was attacking us while she was under the water. <laughs> Alright guys, well that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.